All right, then welcome back everyone. Let's solve this question. Sum of medians. I hope you have read the question once, but I'll still read it. Now this question again uh, is a simple uh, two-pointer question, but uh, how we again come up with the solution is the real deal here. We have defined a definition of median here. So median is given by n by two seal. So if it is a even array, then a two like then n by two is the answer. Then n by two is the answer. If it is an odd array, then uh, the answer is n by two plus one. This n by two here is the integer division, right? So that's that. And uh, what we are given now is we are given a non-decreasing array of n into k integers. <laughs> non-decreasing means ascending only. Divide all the numbers into k arrays of size n. Since we are given n, n into k integers, we can divide them into k arrays of size n, right? Such that each number belongs to exactly one. So the partition should be mutually exclusive. You have to divide them into k arrays of size n. Each of them are size n. So all in all, the total integers, integers are still n into k. And what we want is we want to find out the maximum possible sum of medians of all the k arrays. We want to divide the arrays in a way that sum of medians in all the k arrays is as maximum as possible. So they ask us for uh, every input. So every input is simply n k. Uh, these integers are positive only. NK and we want to divide them into k arrays of size n and finally print out what is the maximum possible sum of medians of all k arrays. So we want to partition the elements such a way that uh, the medians, the individual medians are as big as possible, of course. Then only the total sum, the sum of all the medians will be as maximum as possible. That's what we want to do. Let's uh, look at some example test cases and try to see if we can make some observation. Now our aim is maximize uh, the medians, right? We want the maximum possible sum of medians. That's what we want. Fine. So how are you going to do it? So here the first test case it was simple uh, you can just uh, take these two guys these two guys these two guys these two guys and then median is maximized the second case also these two guys and these two guys so what is the median here uh, in size 2 what is the median 2 by 2 is 1 right so the median will be here uh, 69 then 64 then 34 and then 0 here it will be 81 and 27 right fine but i don't think uh, from this you can make much out of it uh, think about what do we want what do we want we want the median to be as big as possible right and the array is sorted. You have to, of course, exploit that fact that the array is sorted. This can be helpful somewhere. Now, it might be difficult to think in terms of variables. So just think in terms of example. I have to divide into k arrays of size n. What I'm concerned is this element at this position, n by tooth, right? This n by tooth position, uh, I'm most concerned about. I have to try to pick as, I have to try to keep as big element as possible at this position for every array, right? So let's think about some example. Let's say uh, I had n equals to uh, 4. Let's just take one even example and one odd example. That will be suffice, right? So we had four numbers to pick for each area right and we'll take one more example for n equals to five so one two three four five right so this is what we want to do let's try to see like how should we choose elements and remember that the array is sorted okay so always write down the observation that you have the array is sorted right you have uh, n into k integers in sorted form you want to divide them into k arrays of size n the element of my concern in this in my each array is this n by tooth so here uh, n by tooth means uh, the element at position one two three four let me just name it one two three four five the element uh, of my concern is this guy. This guy should be as big as possible. Here, this guy should be as big as possible. Right? I'll try to have as big element as possible in, the, in this position. That should be my aim. And take this test case only. Here, uh, k is equal to 4. And what we want to do is we want to pick, uh, like we want to keep as big element as possible in this position. Okay? So, uh, what are you going to do? If you want to make sure that this position is occupied by as big element as possible, what you can do is you can, of course, pick elements from the end. Right? You can pick elements from the end. So, what you can do is you can pick 71, 94, 99. You can pick 71, 94, 99. Now this notice that uh, this 71 can be uh, as big as as big as you can get, right? Because uh, you cannot get more than 71 at this position because you only have 94, 99, right? So now, since you have the as large as possible at this position, you don't need to waste your larger elements in this position, right? Once you put your as big element as possible in this position, you don't need to waste your other elements in this. So from the start, what I can do is I can just pick this three, right? From the start, I can just pick this three. Just pick this three. Right. So the first median that I got was 71. Fine. Let's move ahead. Don't worry, you'll get it. Don't think about the code right now. Just think about the approach, what we are trying to see. Fine. So now 71 you got. Now you considered 71, 94, 99, and 3. Now again you want to pick as big element as possible in this in this second position. In this second position. So of course you'll try to get elements from the larger end, right? Larger end. 38, 67, 69. So you'll try to pick 38, 67, 69. Right? But don't waste your larger element now. Instead, pick 11 from this start. So 11 is picked. So 67, 69, 67, 38, and now 38 is our next median, right? You see what I'm happening, what is what I'm doing? I'm always picking the larger elements. I'm always picking the larger elements for this part so that what happens is the value at n by tooth position is maximized. That's my main agenda, right? I want the value at n by tooth position to be maximized as possible. So what I'll do is I'll just fill up these positions. What are these positions? These positions are simply n by 2 till nth position with larger element. That's what I'm trying to do here, right? So yeah, fine. So 38 is there. Now what next? So you have considered to like first median was uh, 
71 then second median was 38 fine now let's see what else can we do now again i'm trying to put as big value as possible so of course come from the end to 35 33 22 so 22 33 35 right now anyway only 12 is remaining so 12 is remaining so you can just pick 12 here but my point is this 22 is the median right you had to divide it into three areas of size 4 and you effectively did it and what were your medians your medians were 22 38 and 71 and if you observe this medians are at same distance apart that is also true right because of course you're always picking three elements right you're always picking three elements from the end that's why okay so it's it's not it should not surprise you're always picking three elements from the end right you're picking three elements for one area three elements for other area three elements for other area and this guy is your answer right that's what you're doing if you didn't get it don't worry let's take one let's take one more example uh, when n is odd right so here n equals to 3 is given right so maybe i can just uh, replace this with 3 so let's deal with n equals to 3 case so when you have taken a case for n equals to 4 now let's take a n equals to 3 case right so what i care here when n, n is 3 what i care here i care that this n by tooth basically seal n by 2 this position is as big as possible as big as possible so pick as big elements as possible in these two positions right so i'll pick 92 95 92 95 and this 92 will be a median and now don't waste maximum elements just pick an element from the start so 2 is here right so don't waste maximum elements maybe i can just maintain the colors okay fine so that's that in the first array in the first array you pick 2 92 95 now move on in the next array let's think about the next array the next array you want to maximize this position as much as possible now pick from the larger end when you want to maximize only fill this portion with the larger end why because this will ensure that n by 2 is as big as possible and fill this portion with smaller end basically the left end right so yeah so how can i maximize this uh, second position now pick 91 82 82 91 so this 82 will be the answer right so it will be median and now pick one element from the start four right similarly now for the next area pick 53 36 36 53 because it is guaranteeing that the second position is as big as possible and pick one element from the start so 36 will be your next median similarly 21 will be your next median fine and that's that so this will be your medians 21 36 82 92 and if you observe again they are at the same distance apart right because you're picking same elements from the end and right? you're picking two two elements at the end so i hope you got it right the question is very simple what you're trying to do is all i what i care is this position n by tooth position and sorry uh, n by tooth position should be as big as possible and how can you make sure that make sure to pick element from the end till you have as big element as possible n by tooth position and then then pick element from the start right from the end try picking positions at this right come from the end and pick elements at this position that's what your main answer is and you start from this index and then you simply subtract uh, some uh, amount and go back right so this distance will anyways anyway be same okay i realized one thing at the back that this should have been four three uh like i just uh, jumbled up the end right so this should have been three four and this should have been four three so maybe i'll just fix it in post production but the examples are correct the answers that we got are correct fine so now let's think about the code a little bit so what is happening here is what is happening here in this example uh, you considered n equals to a uh, three right so initially 92 was picked then two distance apart 82 was picked then one two distance apart 36 was picked then two distance apart 21 was picked right in this example also uh, when n was a uh, four right this was the example when i took n equals to four so first you can say from the end one from the end if this is the end you are marking uh, n into kth uh, index right in zero base indexing then one two three right so this is this is where your first median is then one two three this is where your first median is right so again one two three this is where your last median is right so what is uh, like how are you finding median is so maybe you can initialize a pointer uh, i which is equal to n into k which is equal to n into k and now what you want is you want k raise of size n right you want k raise of size n so you can uh, run a loop k number of times you can run a loop k number of times and uh, maybe you can initialize the answer here the maximum possible sum of medians and what i want is if first this i is pointing to n into k now it has to make a jump of three now what is this a jump of three uh you can uh, take some more examples uh, maybe you can take n equals to five uh, n equals to six and so on but you'll get it it's a very simple thing uh, the formula is uh, i equals to i minus n by 2 plus 1 so in this case if you want to see it will be 4 by 2 plus 1 right 4 by 2 plus 1 3 that's why there is a 3 here here if you want to see it will be uh 3 by 2 plus 1 3 by 2 is what uh 1 plus 1 2 so that's why here the distance is 1 2 so okay i'll change this this is 3 4 okay fine so here the distance is if you are standing here the distance is 1 2 right 1 2 so this you can easily get by this formula i minus n by 2 plus 1 uh I don't remember all of this, but just by looking at examples, n equals to 4, n equals to 5, n equals to 6. I guess if you're watching uh, 900 data questions, uh, getting out this formula should not be difficult for you, right? So I found out the value of i and I'll, I'll add it to the answer. Answer plus equals to array of i, right? And uh, yeah, basically that's that. 
so this loop will only run uh, run k number of times so we will not go out of bounds and we'll be able to collect all the medians first i'll collect this then i'll collect this then i'll collect this and so on similarly right this 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 and yeah this is the pseudo code uh, okay guys uh, let's quickly code it up so we want k arrays of size n right so just take an input here and uh, k and our array is sorted in uh, ascending order and it is of size n into k now i'll initialize my answer uh, the maximum sum of medians right so I'll initialize it to zero now what do we want uh, what do we want initially we'll make this i point to uh, initially we'll make this i point to the last like one past the last index basically it is equal to uh, if i want to write it it will be equal to n into k right so i point to one past the last index right and uh, for every array i'm going to collect the median i want k arrays of size n right so for every array i'm going to collect the median answer plus so first things first i have to make this i point to the median so when how can i point uh, i to this median i will do i equals to i minus what n by 2 plus 1 right i equals to n by 2 plus 1 that's what you have to do now collect that median answer plus equals to Area of i and then uh, go to next. So, first things first, I'll make i point to just one past the last index. Then I'm gonna move i by this distance n by 2 plus 1. This distance uh, we figured out in the solution walkthrough. And we are gonna correct the median and then again i moves to the same distance, right? So, this i moves uh, by the same distance n by 2 plus 1 every time, right? And uh, you are sure that since you are collecting uh, k arrays only, this i will never go out of bounds. So, this area of i will always exist and fine. So, in the end, we can just uh, print the answer. Yeah, 165, 145, 234, 1133. So this was the answer here. Let me just quickly submit it. Yeah, it works. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.